All right. So for let's talk first about the coupled uh, Capricorns. This is for those who are in marriage or long established relationships. OK, so what I'm sensing is that actually has a, a good outcome just because um, we have this Empress card. This is the root of the matter, which basically talks about, you know, having uh, feeling very attractive, having a renewed sense of um, appreciation for your own beauty, coming into your own terms and you know, establishing yourself and with your environment, being very comfortable with yourself, being comfortable in your own skin. So um, this card deals a lot with like a, a sense of worth and attractiveness is in the upright position. So I feel for both singles and coupled um, Capricorns, this is a month in which you're able to actually relax and come to terms with all the things around you, the abundance around you, and being very secure and happy in that situation, okay? So that's very, very good energy coming in. What's crossing you is the Page of Cups, okay? The Page of Cups deals with um, emotional expression, and I feel like with a page energy, this is not an area of yourself that you're comfortable with expressing. So even those um, coupled and singles, you both, like in this situation, you feel as if um, you're kind of limited in the way that you express, I guess verbally express how you feel and verbally express like affection or physically express a affection, like you're not completely comfortable with it, okay? And this is a month in which you're actually coming to terms with this and you're breaking out of your shell in the way that you relate to a loved one, in the way that you approach relationships. So this is a part of you that needs a little work. I feel it's in the early developmental stages and you're not yet completely happy with the way that, um, you know, that you can openly express yourself. I feel that in the past, though, um, there definitely has been a lot of holding back when it comes to, you know, that part of yourself. And this is a month in which, you know, the energy here is very conducive to... Um, for you to be able to express yourself in that way, okay? So it, it's looking very good. So, um... Let me see here. I would say, you know, in the past position, this is also looking back at the past and trying to implement new things. So this is a good month for you. Like, just go with your intuition. If you want to try new things with your partner, if you want to pursue a different type of partner, I feel that would be very conducive for you to do that as well. Um, what's coming in here? I have the King of Swords in the reverse position, okay? So the advice here is um, for coupled and singles, um, I know that, you know, the, the, with the difficulty in expressing yourself, make sure that whatever, whatever you want to express to your partner comes from the heart. Okay. So, um, it, it's basically substance over, um, delivery. So make sure you have like the, the substance there to begin with. Make sure that the, the thoughts that you have are sincere and honest and, and that they need to be said rather than focusing on, you know, um, saying what you think the partner might want to hear. So it's very important to be sincere with your words. And you know, like um, the king is a very grown up energy as well. In this reverse position, it suggests to me that, um, you know, you really practice to be honest. Um, I don't think that's going to be a problem for a lot of Capricorns either way. But I just feel that um, don't lay it on too thick is what I'm, I'm sensing here, okay? Because we have this, this dichotomy between energy. This is water and air, very uh, different elements. So, you know, like, don't lay it on too thick. Subtlety is the way to go. And also sincerity is definitely, um, uh, will get you further in love relationships, especially this month, all right? So in terms of your crowning energy, too, um, I have the Four of Cups. So a lot of you will actually be encountering love interests or there's a revival in your love life. So, you know, that sense of boredom is going away and you're actually uh, appreciative, uh, appreciative of everything that's in your life right now, which is really good energy. In terms of, you know, what the what's in the subconscious and things that are in the environment that you're not fully aware of. I have the Knight of Wands in the reverse position. So this deals with generally the, the sex drive. This deals with the libido and um, it's also the passion. Okay. So it's been dormant. I feel that um, throughout this month, um, I feel it's go you're going to get the invigoration all over again. All right. But um, I feel that as of February, February was like very intense and energy. It, there was a lot of things going on and you were very busy with work. It seemed like you were inundated with like endless things that you have to accomplish, like a lot of check 
lists and to-do lists and things like that. So this is a good time for you to relax, okay? So make sure you take time off to do things that are enjoyable for you and your partner or potential partner for singles and coupled um, Capricorns. So take the time to do that. In the process of doing that, you're going to like um, just just take it easy. Don't rush into things and don't do things too fast, okay? Because night energies are very um, they're they're very speedy, like very expedient. But um, it, it's not a bad thing to be expedient. But make sure things um, like unfold naturally. Don't push too hard, okay? In that, don't push too hard for a physical relationship either. All right. We have the Ace of Wands coming in as the advice. Um, advice here is, you know, definitely focus on one person, okay? It's definitely a month where quality trumps quantity. So it's very important for you to direct your focus into one area of your life or into one person in particular. And um, so, for example, if you're single um, and you're, you're playing the field, you know, focus on one person. I, I feel would be better for you rather than scattering your energy far and wide because we might end up in this situation in which you um you might lay it on too thick or you might be you know forgetful of somebody's name and that would be like a really bad mishap for a um a dating relationship especially for longevity in that relationship so i do see that situation here okay and it could potentially play out with these three energies the way they're laid out you might say the wrong person's name and you might, um, you know, just stretch yourself too thin. So focus on quality people rather than, you know, quantity. And for those who are um, in relationship, there's definitely a revival in the love and the passion within the relationship. OK, and that's going to happen throughout the month, too. I feel like just the first week is going to help you overcome the, these barriers and also to feel reinvigorated all over again. As for the High Priestess, um, this is an energy that is coming in from your um, external environment, the people that you're encountering, okay? So um, the High Priestess deals also with spirituality and intuition and things like that. I feel that the people you're encountering, male or female, or those that you're in a, a relationship with too, they... Um, they're of like a very, they, they operate on a very high, uh, high wavelength, like um, a lot of them are emotionally mature and stable, all right? So if you were to get into this situation in which, you know, you're uh, dishing out too many compliments, I think they're going to be able to see through that. So be very careful. The people that you're dating, um, they're definitely, you know, top notch, high quality. So they're very intuitive and... Um, I guess they read people very well and they would be able to read you very well if you're not sincere. So be really careful about that, okay? And I feel that um they have like this very intuitive um like like they they get like flashes of intuition out of the blue and they can read you like an open book. So um just be care careful about that in your dating relationships as well, you know, be very sincere, all right? Let's see, as for, um, this is your hopes and fears. I have the five of wands in the reverse position, all right? And um, in general, I, I would imagine this is a, a good card, just the way the, um, the cards are laid out. It's uh, It deals with competition, and it deals with, like, um, playful competition, so there's nothing malicious about it. Um, at the same time, it deals with, you know, mindless disputes, it's in the reverse position, which makes it, you know, so it's like uh, the the energy is definitely tempered down and it's it's being um, directed, I guess, towards the right um, activities, towards the right types of conversation. So there's there are going to be like a bickering back and forth. I wouldn't say bickering. I would say more like exchange of energy. And a lot of you, too, are entering some type of, you know, like a competition. But I feel like it's um it's not a physical fight or anything like that. And it's not a competition in which you're competing for other people's love or affection or anything like that. I feel that um if you are dating, you're actually entering competition together. Like you're doing playful, really fun things together. If you're in a couple relationship, too, I, I feel that's coming in. So if you have opportunities around you for... um. For those things, it's a very good way to channel your competitive energy, all right? So in the spirit of competition, it's just good to include your partner in that part of your life as well. 
So, um, as for your hopes and fears, though, it, with this card, I would say, you know, do more things, do more fun activities together. Really try to incorporate each other into, um, you know, your social life. And the fears in this regard would be, um, you know, like, um, I, I, I feel that a lot of people, too, they, they, they have, like, two groups. They categorize, you know, this is these are the people I date and these are the people I'm friends with. When, you know, it's best to mix the two. I feel that if you're dating somebody that you can't really imagine yourself being friends with, then um, it's not a good idea to date them to begin with. So make sure that you have that mix in which, you know, you, you like a person all around. You, you like everything about them so that they can be interchangeable. They can also be a lover, but also a very good friend for you, okay? So it's important to keep that in mind and not have separate categories when it comes to people in your life. If they're meant to be, they should be able to um, to be incorporated into all aspects of your life. And I feel with family too, so you know, like friendships, you know, um, love relationships and family, those three should be interchangeable in order to make it a really truly fulfilling relationship. So don't be afraid about incorporating somebody. If they're the right one, they should be able to be interchangeable in all categories of uh, re your interpersonal relationships. Okay, so I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, as for the outcome here, I'm not happy with this tower card, but it's definitely regarding the King of Swords, okay? This is not going to apply for all, but what I'm saying here is, what I'm seeing here is, um, all right, so definitely, like, um, this habit here, you know, I... I know it's going to be hard um, in the process of dating and in, pro in the process of meeting new people that um, you, you you feel a little uncomfortable, all right, when it comes to like emotional expression or expressing affection and, you know, dishing out the compliments. So make sure you keep it natural and say things with sincerity. I think that would be the main thing. Otherwise, uh, the other people might be turned off and they might call you out on it because I feel that the people in your midst, they're actually very intuitive and it might lead to a very uncomfortable, embarrassing situation. So don't get yourself in that situation. Um, as, for what, as for the Knight of Pentacles in the outcome, what I'm sensing here too is um, a lot of you, you know, in established or relationships or who are single, you might be very um, anxious about, you know, giving out trinkets to the people you love, like giving out gifts, being really extremely helpful. So make sure, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's showing up in the upright position. So they're very intuitive, but at the same time, you know, um, choose the ones who are worthy to focus your your love and resources and attention okay choose the one that are that are worthy and like it's always quality over quantity so if they look like there's somebody that will deserve it then you know it's definitely the right thing to do so don't scatter yourself too far and wide because it would um deplete your resources in a sense i feel that you're very practical with money as well all right but um on first dates and things like that i would definitely say don't place too much emphasis on money and financial resources just because um, that is not going to uh, make or break a relationship. I, I don't feel it is. There are definitely, you know, financial considerations if it's a long-term relationship. But um, I feel that you're very level-headed in, in that sector, so you're going to attract the right people. As for this situation, this is getting rid of bad habits, getting rid of the past, and you know letting the past go so that you can really enjoy your new relationship. And I, it's in the reverse position, so there are definitely like you know obstacles this month in terms of you know getting rid of. Um, these are habits from the past, so that your old way of relating. It's coming out next to this Knight of Pentacles. So I would say, again, you know, with the emphasis on money and the emphasis on... Um, uh, th this is also a very spiritual card. If, with it in the reverse position, I feel that, um, you know, it's the, the habit that needs to be left behind is... Um, I would say, you know, like, with it ties in with this, all right? So... Analyzing a situation objectively to objectivity and coupled with this earth sign, I would definitely say analyze someone's worth and by worth is not just financial worth. I think analyze the long-term prospects of having that person in your life and how that will play out. I think that would be very good for you, all right? 
Um, as for this, you know, just really practice a lot of discernment and objectivity. I, I think at this point, you know who is right for you. So if they don't make that checklist, if they don't hit all the targets on all the marks in your checklist or your list of requirement about what it, it takes to really, you know, um, be in a long-term relationship with you, then don't scatter yourself far and wide, okay? And uh, with the tower coming in here too, I would definitely say, um, yeah, it's always quality. Choose the right quality people um, so that you don't end up in the situation, all right, where you they do things out of the blue, throw you for a loop, and then you have to dissolve that um, relationship with them.